first. So it's just no matter what, it's probably an improvement. My bad, guys. <laughs> My apologies. Hello. That's kind of cool. Okay, my bad. Um, okay. So let's. First, let's get everything going. Shh, shh. I'm dying here. Um, window capture is already on. Get it. I don't remember if this is supposed to be no. Oh. Audio is. This is B actually. Um, yeah, maybe. Up a time. Music is really cool. oh, right. what? There we go. I don't want it to be too loud because there's also like other stuff going on. So okay. You know where we left off, and um, we learned a bit from last time. Where it turns out you can buy things. It won't be destroyed. What is she? Oh, cool! <laughs> I didn't know that before, so now now we do. So and I'm learning. We're learning as we go. We got everything last time. We got Kira Mickey, Kira Mickey, whatever. Uh, we got everybody here. So let's just get to it. We got. We're gonna be focused. We're gonna be nice and easy. Later. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't have any water, Gargo, but you know, Gargalon, Gargalon, that's a oh, hi. <laughs> Good evening. Hi there. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's the same tired thing. Alma. Uh, Le Leonid? Le Leonidas? Leonidas? Leonidas. Leon. I'm freaking. That's supposed to be. Gillian. Gillian. Sorry, Gillian. Marcelo. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if you wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Here, make yourself at home. Boss, you can put the helmet on again. Get out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. All right. Ooh. I'm gonna make yourself comfortable while I prepare. All right. Thanks. Oh, never mind. My bad. Uh, this is what I listen to these. Are. Huh. Um. What about that? Oh. I bet. Uh, I don't. That one? I don't know any of these. Half of these. I've kind of been, um. What is it? I've kind of. I'm sorry. I heard like a. I've kind of been like listening to some of it, so I've. Um. Not sure how it is, you know? But I'm hoping it's good. Up a little. Make sure the music's. Edible or whatever. Good. Might be a little loud, huh? Down you go. Okay, up you go a little bit. Okay, I don't know. We're, 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 music's a little finicky, okay? We just gotta make sure it's not too loud. Like, there we go. Like that, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. That might be good. This is kind of a banger. Okay. Down to make strings and save lives. What was that? Oh, that's just what I said. Oh, just something the name is. Or they made me say back in the instruction. It kind of stuck. Huh. Honest. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. Habits don't rub off. Or the habit didn't run off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Hey, look at this. Glass with a signature. To Jill. Uh huh. I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kira Mickey girl came here yesterday for a concert, actually. Oh, yeah, now I see your name. I'm very surprised. Like blink more actually. What? Stoic looking duo, right? What? What are we talking about? Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Wanna drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we know each other for a few months now. 
smell of pink. I'd be interested in those relationships if of yours went further than a week or two. Oh, I'd be interested if those relationships went further than a week. That's correct. You say you broke up. There's usually not enough time to foster something to break. That's damn. It's more like the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. Jesus, that's that is mean. Um, it's like, <laughs> just imagine it's like, oh, I broke up with this person, right? And it's like, oh, uh, yeah, I know. What do you mean you know? Begin. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you guys, you guys don't, you don't have, you don't, you don't tend to be with people that long. So like, I kind of expect it. Like Jesus, man. I, at least I'm trying, you know. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. That's crazy. That's a crazy thing to say. Speaking of buying, you want a frame? Frame. Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss, the ones filling your phone's memory. <laughs> we have a lot. Some scenes sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. Okay, shut up. <laughs> what? I mean, we always have a lot of pictures. Our boss. What was the name? Like Gina? No, it's like Dana. Dana? I think one of those two. But it's like freaking. I, I still don't know why we have so many pictures, but whatever. I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Oh, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, you can make me a bad test. Can you make me a bad test before we keep arguing? Wants uh, pff, a bad touch. Why do we say it like that? Uh, bad touch. Bronze and extract. Two, uh, two planner guide and four of these all on the rocks. And no H. Yeah, we're nothing but mammals. Though. Oh, one, two, three, four. Bad touch. Here you go. Here. Who gives a, these drinks their silly name? Usually the one who registers it. Okay? Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over the particular this particular drink's name. Uh, who's Damon again? The one with a nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at a bank, but that car was what caught my eye. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. LARP? Live action role playing. Ah, uh, one of those, huh? Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or military organization. What did he role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? What could this possibly mean? It's gonna be nothing good. What? Freaking LARPing, whatever. Role playing as what? Woodstock Fairs? Wait, he's gotta be like one of those people who like dress up in like the old timey things, right? Like people who dress up as knights or whatever. People were events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and, and they, they get freaky in the open. Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I have nothing to deal with at all. <laughs> if I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my par partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... See, that's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you have something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. Ah, okay. I mean, I see. I see the point that Gil's trying to make here. Where it's like, bro, you just met this guy. And you're saying you're, you know, like, you talk about it as if you're in a committed relationship. Yet so easily like it's so finicky and it easily just breaks apart you know like even though you just got to know them. like i see it but it's still like messed up you know what i mean like even if it's like a friend that i knew where it's like like i, I get you're trying to like meet this person and trying to be cool with them or whatever but like dude <laughs> I, I don't know i wouldn't be this harsh but definitely i'd be like give it some time you know <laughs> Like suggest that but unless it's like something that warrants like yeah maybe get out of there but otherwise it's like bro like give it a minute at least jesus <laughs> think about it have you ended have you ended your longest lasting relationships or things like those okay sorry for not using the right word or whatever but i'm still sorely disappointed and at least i'm trying to get some action that's what i'm saying it's at least you're trying like jeez man what are you so mean what's the last time we spent the night with someone else last night A year ago. It was messed a year ago. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with it. If I were you, I would have pushed Freak Boy over there into a closet ages ago. <laughs> and Jillian's like, huh? Do you have different needs and priorities? Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head in their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. So romantic. Dozing off, nosing they're there, watching you, protecting you. Yeah? 
Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? <laughs> He's like, stop, stop talking, stop talking. I have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking will stop me from talking or making tasteless puns about for Aunt Rosa. Still, give me something weird, would you? Yeah, something different, experimental, uncommon. I mean, promo drinks, promo drinks fit that bill easily. So this? I'm gonna get this? Otherwise, it's like, not really... Oh, wait. Yeah, there is, right? A weird drink. Piano man, piano woman. Uh, let's get Grizzly Temple. Hmm. Yeah, uh, mostly used for the movie or whatever. That's pretty good. It sounds like perfect, actually. Zoom light. Aldehyde, powder delta, flounder guide, comma trine, comma trine, comma tree. All age on the rocks and milks and mixed. It's so unnecessarily brown. I don't know. I just remembered. Um, I mentioned before. I, I, this has nothing to do with the game that we're, playing now, but I mentioned before that I would always play or like back in the olden days, whatever. Like I used to be like Angry Birds, right? I played them when I was younger, whatever. Um, and there was these things called telepods. We get boy. We have a QR code on the bottom. You put them on like a little stand that has a magnifying glass. You stick it on the camera. Boom. Teleport your dude into it, right? They had ones for this game collab between Angry Birds and Transformers. Now, I'm okay on Transformers, right? Like, the movies are good, sure. Or not good, but the movies are. I like the movies, right? I should say specifically. Thing is, um, Angry Birds. I like Angry Birds. <laughs> or I, I would like Angry Birds when, when I was younger. So, of course, I got Angry Birds Transformers. And, um,. They have these telepods for the Angry Birds Transformers game. Thing is, they like you can squish them down and they transform into like cars. And it's really cool. And I was like, recently, or no, I saw them a long time ago, and I was like, damn, I want those. When I was a kid, like I wanted those, but you know, how was I gonna get those, right? I, I got no money. How am I supposed to get them? Fast forward, <laughs> there's only like one package left, or not package, but like one hype of telepod left. And I, I, I got it on like Amazon because like, used, and I was getting other stuff. And I got a pa the pack of freaking tele telepods because I got the game back because I was like, you know what I want to play? Angry Birds Go, which is another game that has the telepods as well, but they're, you know, racing, racing Angry Birds. But they didn't have it on the app, on the app store. So. Dang it. But uh, <laughs> I was like, you know what? Transformers is kind of fun too, so I got it back because I used to I used to play it in high school, like, on like because I used to have to take the bus because I I live kind of far from the, from the high school that I went to, so I was like, freaking on the bus ride, just you know hop on Angry Birds Transformers, and then I would, and freaking, I deleted it and I got it back like yesterday, and I started playing it again, and that game is unfair, but whatever, okay. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, um, I got the telepods. I'm really excited about that. I don't know when I'm going to get it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And I just remembered that freaking those telepods exist. Blend. Ooh. But yeah, um, that's just a thing that's going on pretty much. Something, something to be excited about. Grizzly Temple. Yeah, this fits the bill. That's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Read read they leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise <laughs> oh you know your orders are weird today they are yeah usually the first thing you ask for is a brand teeny and then something like a cobalt velvet or something similar but i sometimes feel like i need something different you know i mean yeah every once in a while you gotta things up something tells me part of the reason you left this damien is because he was too deep into routine maybe Ooh, that's maybe literally just like you can't stick to a routine you want something that always changes so like like this damien fella um he's always in his routine like it makes perfect sense you wouldn't want to be together you know whatever um as a hacker what's your opinion on the whole alice underscore rabbit thing alice rabbit whatever uh da, da, da. that's a sign of somebody who just heard something stupid Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepare for like, just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. Thank you. But you know, take it to go, though, is this group of people that hack simple sites with an agenda. 
can't remember that they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was petty vandalism. I remember they talked about that before. Anyway, everyone that participated starting started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything everyone anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullcrap for what's essentially a pet that a pet the press made up. The antithesis of your usual boogeyman, if you must. Do you ever think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. There might be anything. Individual, group, and AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. Yeah. The Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. Something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and stuff. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens walk into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damn Alice Rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that. There's a more pressing matter at hand. Oh, who, what do you do again? Who are you? <laughs> there is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for too long. Oh. That. Gave me that much, Jill? Does my present make you that uncomfortable? No, I... Uh, <laughs> it's getting hot in here. At this rate, I might just crash right by your apartment. That way you can't, you just can't say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. <laughs> your tits alone will fill my entire bathroom. Damn. And you react to nonchalantly. It's no fun. Act a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness though, seriousness though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitation? I mean, it's not a day. I just want to have a conversation with you. Like these four walls. I mean... I'm a morning person. I registered for the night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've seen you out is 10 a.m., you know? That's early in morning. By my standards. I mean, I can't say nothing. I wake up at like 6 usually. And if not for like work, I wake up at like 7, 8. But you, I mean, kind of early. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to need another drink here. Like, say, a big Brantini. Finally, that's the Elmo I know. Big Brantini. Huh? You are absolutely right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, I can only put... Oh. One, two, three. One of these. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can do a couple more. Damn. One... Three. Put another one. Wait, oh, oh. I was supposed to age it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. All aged and mixed. One, two, three, four. Bam! Big Brantini, all for you. Here, you know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of Vermont that was named after a certain automobile company. But on a weird whim, they changed the name. See, you know, I was wondering. Yeah. Don't you worry about what people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Oh, you're a hacker, right? Not really. Don't. You, you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really, most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why would you? Do you people get drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. Okay, all right, buddy. I get my payment, do my job, forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consulty based gigs. It's not like every day is a thrill. You meet with them, or I don't. I look from behind as many filters as I can. I remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying wet. Pretty reason. Actually, because that way, I lose a lot less time. I don't want to have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I mean, fair enough, yeah. I also don't have to lose time providing my worth because big boobs equal small brain or some crap like that. Fair enough. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but a few times I've showed myself. Wait, I thought you just casually... Okay, whatever. Hmm. They weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run-of-the-mill security checks. 
I don't know, maybe I just need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something. Give them what they expect to see. Or, I don't or I don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why other questions? Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So many Alice Rabbit headlines have made me wonder about hacking ha made me wonder about the hacking business too. I remember to ask you things next time then. Well, take my leave now. See ya. Bye, Alma. Bye. Take care. Hello, sugar. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Mr. Don. Oh no, it's you. <laughs> like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with, oh, with metallic arm. <laughs> oh, he was saying that there. What's her name? I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. Their heart is freaking. That's all. That's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. But, but don't, don't, but don't worry. You're safe. You're flatter than the. In the field of my summer house. All right, buddy. Good advice. You shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks of food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this quick. Making this a quick one. Gotta attend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. Too short. Three days, and he already has a usual drink. Huh? I know what you want. I know what you want, man. Uh, one of one of these. One, two, three, four. I got you. One. Two, three, four. Get you a beer. The usual. Glad to see that being offended doesn't affect your service. I'm not offended, just hurt. I mean, fair enough. Freaking, I'll be at work and just, like, I don't really get like any any interactions like that. It's literally just like I just get straight. Oop, I get straight to the point most of the time. But it's like, you know, like I understand it. You know, it was just like not offended. I'm just like, okay, but I'm still gonna do my job. You know brings you today, Mr. Donovan. That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming in a couple of weeks. I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? <laughs> That's a yes. I'm really yawning today. I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. I have to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. Hmm. Wait. Wait. Yeah. You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you'd find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm. Hey, signature on the glass over there. Huh? Oh, yeah. That big titty Lilum was here. You came today before the concert, yeah? You think Juicy come out of a visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there's gotta be something. But her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that crap. Throw me a bone here, anything. I got nothing. Anyway, everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing could be used against her and that you don't, didn't already know. Fine. Hey, can you think, think Lilum have nipples? Excuse me. I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know? So yesterday, while interviewing the singer Lilum chick, I kept wondering if those tits have nipples. You are an interesting character. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. But I'm even more curious about the engineers that design them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on the limb look good? Bunch of guys in a lesbo engineer work wondering if the latest model switching that is good enough. Oh my god. God bless those sentiments. Um, <clears throat> anyway, any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share information when you shouldn't you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Right. Have you heard of a good called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom one. Interesting piece, and even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They sent me a message from some outlets saying they have proof of their claims that they're going to release it to the public tomorrow. That'd be interesting to see, I think. I know, right? Alright, hit. Give me a bleeding, bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay, it was a bleeding Jane. That's a chain. It really is. No, it's just a beer. Bleeding Jane, you, you dirty dog. You would want a bleeding Jane. <laughs> that explains a lot. All blended. That's it. No, no green. Okay, just blended, right? Okay. Remember the drink three times in front of a mirror and you look like a fool. True. <laughs> it reminds you of the meme where it's like, um, where it's like. Get up and say this in the mirror like th 30 times and yell it. And then this figure called mom will <laughs> kick you out or something. Tell you you're adopted. Dumb crap.
Thanks. Caffeinated thing. I got these like oh it was a while ago. Um like Celsius packs. Um if you don't know what Celsius is it's like a energy drink type of thing. I got these little packets. It comes with a pack of like 14, I think. And you can mix them with water and turn it into like an energy drink. Well, I got those and I mix it in my bottle. Thing is my bottle has I can hold in more water than what's in look at the, the Celsius packets can make. So what I like to like <laughs> sorry um what i like to do is mix it into the water and add a little bit of the like hydration electrolyte thing that i talked about a while ago i mix them together and i make like a different flavor and i drink like maybe a quarter or half of it each like day at most so i'm still getting like a bit of energy but i'm not getting all of it i'm not trying to get that much energy, you know and um and it tastes good and it's not it's like it's just better overall you know so that's what i've been like trying to do recently and even then that's if i drink half of it more more recently it's been like in thirds like a third of it each time um i try not to get too much caffeine you know i don't really have to like i'm like, if i'm up late something or just like i just wake up like, with not a lot of energy i don't know just it just depends um but yeah i've been doing that recently and pretty good i forgot it makes the thing though right now it's just a lot of water in the Celsius packet so it kind of tastes like the flavor but I'll do that later <laughs> it's fine but not for you I see uh yeah so I've heard this is Dana Zane's bar is that true yep I thought I'd hear about that undefeated of the west again uh, everybody has a nickname they all have a different nickname more so the incident with the bears bears running some air <laughs> Six years ago, cash strapped Dana Zane into the underground ring for money. Face 10 enraged grizzly bears. You beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there. I was drunk and bored, what can I say? Do you know she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she's. He had her prosthetic then, too. I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. It was so hard her arm fell off. That sounds more like an unstantiated rule. Yeah, probably. Or like something she that true that too well i gotta go next time you see dana thank you for winning me my second yacht i knew bet betting on her was the right choice please come again yeah yeah that's it oh huh. so there's dana i think that's, that's the boss i think this door there right there Is that, that's us alien oh dave that's round two or that's round one i guess that's the first half i don't know Who's that? Who are you? Whatever. <laughs> Keep going. Wait, you know. A baby. Bam. 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 Uh, boss, you're back. I haven't changed. Like, apparently. It's something about not being here earlier. What are you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh. All right. All right, all right as it can be. Considering that we're closing, it. will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything's being put in order. Oh, I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling you to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. <laughs> they want to close the bar, the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches. Huh. What about Jill? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. It's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who brought us the levitation potion and threw himself off a building? Oh yeah, the guy who was like... I think I think he was like, huh? Oh uh, yes, the levitation potion story. He was weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that Jill will find a job after all this. Just who is Jill? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? Excuse me, is this the VA11 Paul A bar? Oh, you're the one who I was like, who are you? It is indeed. Well, God, what a safe. Wait. You're the, you're the white knight, right? Or, or, or not the one, the Valkyrie. I want to drink whose name was changed after any women protesting. Can you give me that? 
Sure, piano man? Or piano woman? Sure, her name was. Piano woman. Yeah, piano woman. Okay, I was, it's like one of those. Piano people. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two three. You are crazy, lady. All aged and mixed. One, two, three, four, four. Piano woman. All for you. Here you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. But you know, say Miss Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yeah? Yep, in fact, I'm glad you know her because she left us here last time. Oh, God. She left, she, she left her helmet behind. Again. Not the first time, huh? Her helmet's been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Ballets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been looking enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Well, quite a few people. Say's as much of a sociable girl as she is a, so a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious, she's very competent when she puts her mind to it. See, did she recommend you this place or for meeting here today? I can see why she chose this place. It's kind of, it's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Say, is that Kira Mickey's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter, nice. Right? Yeah, it is. How'd you get it? She's up here yesterday just for the concert. Really? I mean, I mean uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's cool. Oh, she did, huh? <laughs> yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep. This Starlight -like signature is hers. Okay. Your name's Jill, then. Oh, yes. Ain't this nice? Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Let's call Miss Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they're sold out in minutes. Luckily, I secure a couple for the next time she comes. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Oh, <laughs> is where I hit car crash? Where are you helping? Will it take long? All right. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll take it that was say. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another trick. Oh. Wait, one that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. All right. In honor of friend. I think that was... Um... I, I forgot the name. It was... It was the one that was like all of his favorite things, right? Out driver? Duck pun. Is that no, it's for the movie, right? Uh, crevice. Cobalt velvet. No. Um. Rush? No. <laughs> what the freak was it called? Sparkle star? No. Sunshine cloud? No. No. What's it called? I know. I know which one. Like. I have it in my mind. Excuse me. I have the thing, but like I don't remember what it's called. Gothic water. No. Not a bad touch of it. No. Um. Blue fair. No. Yeah. Moonlight. No. <laughs> Rantini? No. Smug assholes. Whatever. What the freak? Which one was it? Okay. Hold on. Um. Bad touch. Uh, no, 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 there was one that was like, uh, they made it for a friend, but I forgot what it was called. Um, is it a piano man? No, we already, we already tried it. There was some like weird one, I remember. Was it this one? Um... I mean, it doesn't say here actually. Dude, I remember. We got it last time. Uh cute. Um hold on, I'm gonna be <laughs> Dude, I don't know, which one? Cause I remember there was the one last time, right? But it was like Oh, this drink was in, like, they mixed all the flavors that the friend liked or whatever. But, um, what is it? Piano Man. Piano Man. Two, one, three, one, two, four, five, one, two, five, four, five, three. On the rocks, and eh? Next one, two, 
four. Okay. The one you had in mind? Okay. 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 Cameraman. Thank you. Can I see something that might be personal? Is it by my eyes? It? No, it's not. At least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so this is something I've been curious about. Do you go through the procedure because of disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. Oh, you too. It had to be done. Otherwise, I would have died shortly after the birth. I've been on the weak side because of it, though. Sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It was nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just, were just into the fad. You didn't know your drinks, Jill. I guess I've read a bit more than the rest of your book. Like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. But the colors, the stories, the way you need to keep them stored, the designs. It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. You collect them or anything like that? But yeah, so that with my grandpa's collection, I've been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I managed little by little. You like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'm only more of a, more of a social drinker. Huh. This is with somebody. I don't tend to drink much. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, it's... Hello, it's you again. Take a sweet time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I kind of rushed our traffic, too, and I figured walking might be faster. Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby, and I climbed down. Climbed down. An air cab. Huh. I was just using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no, no. Flying cars are just way cooler. <laughs> I still understand why they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how to avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... Started again. You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Except only the best with whoever, from whoever serves me. They'd be able to answer these kinds of orders. You know, um, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out here out with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Or right, please order something normal, would you? That'd be two fringe weavers, please. Two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. Oh my god, dude. Like half a glass for each? Isn't there better for one for us each? Oh my freaking... God, don't worry. <laughs> two fringe weavers. Here. Uh, fringe weaver. One and two. One of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. One, two, three, four. Bam. This one. One, two, four. Bam. Your friends weavers. So, this one's for you and this one's for me. You said you want whatever I asked for, right? Oh, freaking. Oh, <laughs> that way. You could have said so easily earlier. Uh huh. Right here. Oh, right, this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. I really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Spares can be, should be saved for when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions. Not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I say that my boss got her head stuck because of a jam button? We're gonna money. You still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow. Yeah, you were? I refrain. No. Nah. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't pee. It'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors. Is something might happen at the bank tomorrow? But with all this tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging, rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Everyone's on it. Die. Yeah, I hope you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, it'd stand a chance. Alright, strong, but I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Okay. Does that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. Or you can vent or straight. Alright. Does zero one. My vehicle is here. I would say, nah, I'll stay here. But... Okay, then. Yeah. Bye. That's a word. I mean, she cares. Yeah, she cares about you, man. I've never doubted. I mean, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Um. Oh. Uh, <laughs> bacon? Not that I mind. Just curious. Well, you know, some things absorb the smell of what's nearby. I was a guy one of the ingredients. See, you believe all that stuff about tensions growing in the anarchist group trying to disband the white knight? Tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? You want to understand things like working with human traffickers and drug, drug dealers, setting them actively. Don't even say the ones who get apprehended, the ones that fail them and so 
Bella always says the white knights are just glorified monsters. Mar is that if it's been proved beyond a doubt some shit going on? Zabatsu Corp main branch have separated themselves from the whole white knight team. Something about the associates' fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. That's plausible. It kind of worries me though, because I really like this job. And I guess similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Like they seem restless. Too much politics, huh? Where's my brain? I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? A colonel needed to relay some information to the manager and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, you're such a simpleton that you would never give the wrong message. But it's his intention. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. Do you know sitcom-like entrances? Are you deserving of it? Oh, come on. You know the audience has gone wild with that one. Guys, make it sound like the whole house. Maybe. Hmm. Even common is Days in a row. Huh. On to grab something for the of my shift. Grab something for the set grabbing me. <laughs> hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example of offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I have what she's having. Well, I've got the perfect thing. I have a blue fairy. There's I got you. Just cross applesauce. Nice and well. One for each. All right. Ooh, blue fairy. Uh, let's see. Blue fairy. One, two, three, four. One of these and uh, one, two, four. One of these. Oh. Why is that one eight? Oh, you gotta switch. Okay. So like, you know, what? let's not do calm. I'm not gonna do it. One, two, three. Um, I would do it. I can't choose. I'd, I'd like, I'd hook up Dorothy with the Karma Tree now, but like, I don't know what that's gonna do, you know? <laughs> I think it was, I'm thinking I'm just gonna have both of them done, you know? Just give them a drink. Optional Karma Tree. If they want to get drunk. That would get. Oh, bam! One, two, three, four, bam! Berries, pretty good. See? And it's blue, like your hair. It is. Like a teal. What's your name, sweetie? Let me say. All right, say I'm Dorothy. 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 Say. Yes, yes. They say. Yes, yes. They say. They say, <laughs> right? Say, why don't you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute, and er, I thought you were cute as a bun. So I wanted to invite you to join. Oh, uh, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. That includes freak boy over there. <laughs> what do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you're learning cues from everything. Girls, simple to a fault. How so? How so? Everyone just calls freaking calls uh say a simple minded. Simple, that's so me. <laughs> mean, dude. Like, just living, man. So, you're the what you see is what you get type. Look in your face that it's one that simply sees no point in lying. Even with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire, tells me that you're married to your job and sex is too far down your priority list. And it exists. So if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute and that's the extent of it, I believe you. I believe you. Thank you. I think she's the first one, but what about Dio giving you a ticket the other day? Ooh. Oh yeah, the little one with the dogs? No, she doesn't. He doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid mat. Ouch. He's very perceptive, door. But I'm not too far behind. So, you tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Ooh. Uh, she's like, what? What is she like? Almost. A <laughs> your tongue is BB069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is colored with an anti-radiation fit. Your joints are of the premium, extra flexible variety. And the most important thing. Ooh, <laughs> what about him? I don't know how much your body is under your clothes. The tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. Your hands are the MIRD 113 of Realta Industry. Model designed to shoot class by bullets from its fingertips. Excuse me? So, clause G of Article 17 augmentations and modifications of law 
topic of ballistic augmentation. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilization civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of class 3 or greater higher would be either commissioned for disbar disarmament or sent to danger zone what are you gonna do yeah huh i'm not in law enforcement i just do rescue I mean, for what? i'm not on duty right now no i don't want to know though why go through that or go why go through with that upgrade girl's gonna take care of herself you know i want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly and this is the most discreet mod i had or at least i thought so oh yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, then. Okay, then. Can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. Tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You can get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use. Dude. Oh, I gotta go. Yes, yeah, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once it's once is self-defense. Anything more is assault. Yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye-bye. He's coming again. <laughs> oh, poor Dorothy, dude. She was worried that you're gonna take me away. <laughs> I could put my mind in a vacuum cleaner for three years. Two, if I behave well. Does it happen to you? Underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue? Very friends. Fred Hensel intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints? You really need to ask? Anti radiation coating? Hey, my skin's the first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes it feel so soft, no matter how much it's been battered. Ooh. Alright then. So you fancy yourself a diviner, reading people and all? Not really, I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess that's a pride product of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's very surreal to hear that from a villain. I mean, I see that though. Because, like, like, being able to interact with a lot of different people, whatever, you, you, you get to learn different things. How people act and what. But people like different people in different situations, how they talk, whatever. That says cool, doesn't it? Instead of zero 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 one, it says cool. Better read because of the grid. That makes more. Okay, right, right. what can you say about me then? Let's see. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. It's an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone you know won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Ugh. Ouch. <laughs> oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. Oh, that's just rubbish, I say, because right, it's right 80%. Generic bulk, if you will. You'd be surprised the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am, but if you let me satisfy your frustration, I could stall for some time. Go. Fine, fine. Bye bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather, has come rather far, huh? One more is how artificial remain. Shut up, freak boy. Everything's done? Yeah. Hey, boss. This might seem random, but do you remember the first time you came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason, I've been hung up on it since this morning. I just realized why. The visage, the visage that welcomed me back then was you trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside. I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my my hand in. It got stuck. It was a French jar too, so I just I couldn't break it. Hey Jill, how'd you, hey Gil, how'd you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh, yeah, clever solution. Yeah, and that brings me to the random thought. The incident, the helmet yesterday. How many? That many times you stuck, your foot got stuck on something for stomping it. Boss, why do you get stuck at so many different things? Huh. And you mentioned, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. <laughs> and it's the incident with the TV. Um, okay, I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that was stand should have been labeled their Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the 5Z piece. Still, Joe's on to something here. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> I go clean the dishes, and you can leave for today. I think she should make an effort not to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. <laughs> Something tells me no. Did I make? <gasps> I made no mistakes. My freaking go! I got all this service. Five hundred bucks. Jesus, man. My I didn't know that was that much. I thought it'd be like hundred. Everything would turn out all right in the end. Don't worry. Three hundred. Um, 
$800 has been charged to your account to renew your membership. Happy non birthday. Your subscription got renewed. You should have no problem focusing at work today. I like that website. I have need. The freaking shining, whatever it's called. 800 Goddamn. Which one is that one? That one? Um, Danger. Alice Rabbit Thread. Let's go. The last thread. No. Blah, 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 blah. That one on left. Left is looking. It's the same one, right? Yeah, it's the same one where it's like kiss. Red 2, stop voicing. Number 17. Um, Frank, have the seat. Number 17. With a, wait, no, this is this is new. Okay. Uh, is officially happening? Think it'll happen? Probably nothing. Last time it was just leak. I'll just jump to shark with this. This seems hard to top. Sounds unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. This is Alice we're talking about. They can't. What if that spooky message wasn't really Alice and just an epic prank? Who would hack a site like this just for a prank? Not me. You're right though, it might be someone else. You have to wait and see. What was the date again? Ever 17. Right, if only we knew more about the target now. Thick meme says. These Alice threads piss me off. Easter lives. Hmm. What if it was something terrorism rumors? Alright then. Uh what about here? The augmented eye. Believe. Uh, Mickey fan. But who isn't? I don't uh, believe this shock and cure. Mickey's secret. Um, Kimberly Love Ballet. Today we're looking at one of the most popular sets of our times, acts of our times. As you get started, what's your favorite movie? What's your romantic life? Don't miss an exclusive interview only in the augmented eye. The local page. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Uh, so I'd be a Kira Mickey fan. Everyone loves Kater Mickey and Alex Rabbit is no one it was proof of this not so wacky theory. And well, keep reading if you wanna know. Tech parents, easy one. You just get um getting tired of your crap. The Smithy. Lana Smithy. Okay. Oh, wait, well, what did what did we see? I think with the forces they can't. Or it's just a Oop. Uh what was this? A Kimberly La Ballet. Charm is up five percent this month. Really making it the road to make a Christmas. The road to make a Christmas are dangerous. White Knights, aware of the situation, promised to make security all in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are not the main causes of crime. Criminals from all walks of life, they will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact that it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. There are entire sectors controlled by these dangerous gangs, and there's no solution in sight. The this mega Christmas will be a very dark one. Four said, "It could be worse. God forbid things get under control here." <laughs> Literally. Okay, whatever. Um, there, Mickey Blog uh, concert. This is the same one. Same, same, same. Very cool. Um, let's save. I guess over here.